Hi everyone, welcome to the next installment of Charts in Perspective, where we use charts to dive into the world of economics and financial markets. I'm Jennifer Nash, an economic and market research analyst for Vetify. Today, we're going to look at one of our most popular economic indicators, the Recession Alert Weekly Leading Economic Index. While this is one of our most popular indicators, it is not as well known by the financial media, so I hope this video can be an opportunity to learn about this indicator and what it's telling us. So what is it? The WLEI is a composite index for the US economy that draws from over 20 time series and groups them into six broad categories. The corporate bond market, the treasury bond market, stock market, labor market, credit market, and the mortgage market. These six categories are then used to construct an equally weighted average, and thus that's how we get the Recession Alert Weekly Leading Economic Index. Our first chart shows the index going back to 1973. It's easy to see that recessions across this time frame, as indicated by the gray shaded regions, are closely aligned with when the WLEI dropped into negative territory. I'd like to point out, though, that there have been a few instances where the index has contracted without a recession being called. First, during the back half of 1984, and again most recently from May 2022 through Ju June 2023. With that said, I think it's still a fair statement to say that the WLEI, for the most part, has been a reliable indicator for recession calls. Looking at where we are now, it appears as if we're out of the woods for a recession, since the index has been in positive territory for almost a year now. Now for another perspective, let's compare the index with GDP growth. Again, for the most part, we can see that negative GDP and slow economic growth tend to be matched by the WLEI turning negative. As I explained earlier, the WLEI is a composite of six broad categories for the U.S. economy. But what would happen to the index if we were to exclude one of the six components? This next chart here shows the index. However, all stock market components are excluded from the calculation. So how does this compare to the headline indicator? Here we see that the stock market exclusion typically pulls the headline index down. In the four and a half years that we have data on both series, the WLEI stock exclusion series has been lower than the headline series 76% of the time. It should come as no surprise that during the bear market of 2022 is when the stock exclusion was higher than the headline series. Now in this last chart, I'd like to make one more comparison. I've zoomed in our timeline to begin at the turn of the century and added in ECRI's weekly leading index. You can see that both indicators generally move in the same direction but the recession alert index is the less volatile of the two. As you can see, the ECRI indicator has repeatedly shown visible contractions between recessions, enough to make an erroneous recession call. Meanwhile, the recession alert indicator did not trigger such a call. To close out, I'd like to note that this weekly indicator can be somewhat volatile and is subject to multiple revisions, which is why I tried to avoid diving too much into the actual data points and try to focus more on the big picture of this indicator. That's all for our discussion on the Recession Alert Weekly Leading Economic Index. Thanks for tuning in. For more economic and market insights, you can find my content regularly on the Advisor Perspectives website under the AP Chart section.